Hello everybody, and thank you for uh, clicking on the video there. As you could uh, have seen by the title, this is a hammer tutorial on to use funk, uh, funk underscore tra track train and how to make like a moving uh, train or any kind of object in your skybox. So before I start the video, this is my first tutorial and it's completely unscripted. So bear with me. A lot of the parts go a little fast, but uh, it's still pretty followable, I think. Uh, the topics we're going to cover in this tutorial is how to make the actual train, how to um, make a path for a train, how to make it move forward, how to make it have sound, and how to make it a prop, which is the most difficult portion of the uh, tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is for the Source Hammer version for our Gary's Mod, so this probably doesn't work in CSGO. Just letting you know that now. So let's get the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is have a level like so. And then if you want to put it in the skybox, uh, this is, you got to make a 3D skybox in a separate area of the level. That's a whole thing on itself. If you haven't, if you don't know how to do it, I'd recommend watching the three clicks fill up video. It's uh, pretty good, pretty short. So the first thing you got to do to make a function train is to include uh, um, track. Just, wait, no, that's not what it is. Funk path. Hmm. Path underscore track. Uh, you're gonna need two of these. So let's get one for here. Uh, name it something like zero or one or a. And then when you copy it, the uh, second copy will follow that numerically. So this one would be B or something like that. This is our starting one. And we're going to say, all right, it's already set it, uh, the next path to two. So currently as is, um, whatever our uh, train is, will go from here to here without stopping. Next, I'm going to show you how to actually make the brush for the train. So just gonna get a dev texture. This is going to represent our train. To make the train, select it and press control T. I'm gonna change this to funk tank train. And then we're going to name it. So we're going to name this train for simplicity. Uh, no parent. Lab physics gun. Da, 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 da. First start uh, stop target. So we're going to put this equal to 1 because that's what we decided our starting point is going to be. Uh, initial speed is the speed that you would like it to go, which is easy enough. 3, I'm going to set it to because that's really slow and it's easy to watch. Height above track. Usually I put zero, doesn't really matter. Um, you'll have to experiment with that. This, the cool part is that you can add sounds. So if you want to make a train, which we'll talk about later, you can put that in. So as of now, um, this train will work. So I'm just going to open up the game and we'll watch it go. So as you can see, we've got a block that's a huge square just traveling across this bridge I've made very slowly. Um, you can always up the speed, you know, you can make it higher, raise it off the platform if you'd like. There's a lot you can do with the Funk uh, Tank Train. You can see that since we set the height above track to zero, it's just going to glide directly across the bridge here. So next we're going to talk about um, how to do it using props and this this is a challenge so um, we're gonna take a break from hammer I'm gonna show you some programs that you'll need to use and then we'll come back and we'll figure it all out so actually I lied <coughs> because the first step we need to do <coughs> involves hammer so what you're gonna do is first put down an entity make a dynamic prop and then you will pick Whichever world model you like. Um, we're going to use train 001 for this one because it is the best one for the entity. 
Now you'll notice that the train is a little big for the skybox. And this is where the biggest problem comes in. Now I've heard that there's um, ways to resize it using the, the dynamic prop like uh, editor here, uh, or using prop underscore scalable. But I wasn't quite sure how to get that to work, so I went and I figured out how to do it using two other um, alternative separate third party programs. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in GCFscape is to open and we're going to go to whatever your path is to Gary's Mod, do Source Engine, and we need to click Half-Life 2 underscore misc underscore directory. Also, it's important to know that when you're installing um, G GCFscape, you need to check off the box that says VPK. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Valve pack file, something, VP something, VPK, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to open up the directory. And then in here, we can have materials that you'd like to uh, edit, or we can have the models. Currently, all we're going to need is the models. So next, you're going to extract, and then you can just pick like this, that I get this any kind of folder you need. So I've got my own folder, which is going to be documents. And then it's listed as new folder. So I would save one to a folder that is close to one of your disk drives. Okay, so this is going to be the hardest part of the tutorial, which is using this program called Crowbar. Um, the first thing you need to do when you get Crowbar is you need to select a game, which is going to be Gary's Mod for the Us, and then uh, you can essentially just add this game or use the prefix. It might already come with the prefix. All of this information should be correct if you have the SDK downloaded, but if you're like me, you'll probably get an error that um, I'll show you how to fix later. Next, I need you to go to decompile. We're going to click, or we're going to keep file and work folder. So the file is the file that I told you to copy earlier from the hammer directory, except that is unnecessary because we're going to get it now from the models. So I'm going to go into models. Let's just get that train one, which is the train station. And then we're going to get it, wherever it is. So train one dot model. You are going to copy this directory, put it in here, and then you're going to out, uh, export it to a folder where it's easily accessible. So I've got my own crowbar folder here. Uh, I've already decompiled all these train models, uh, so that's why this folder is already full. But once you've put in these two things, uh, just decompile, and it will put in a folder as the model name. So if I clicked decompile for train 05, it would make this folder. Next, you're going to go into that folder you've just made, and you're going to edit the QC file. It's not going to have the notepad++ plus plus uh, picture, I just fucked that up myself. So we're going to open this. What you need to do is if you're going to put it in a skybox, add this command here, which is dollar sign scale space 0 0.0625. This will set it to a 0 0.0625 scale, which is 1 16th of hammer, which is the default uh, scaling that it'll do in a skybox. Next is that this uh, line will already be here, except it won't have this word tiny here. All you need to do is just add something to the uh, file name so you don't overwrite the existing train file or whatever model you're trying to downsize. I chose tiny, you could use small, uh, mod, anything like that. Just give it a new name so it doesn't overwrite. Next, after you save the QC file, uh, that'll be here in your crowbar folder, uh, you're going to go to compile in crowbar. Info, input a file and make sure the output is the games uh, models folder. Uh, check the game is Gary's mod. If you don't have a models folder, you can just create one called models in the Gary's mod Gary's mod directory. Then you're going to compile uh, and it will put this tiny new train model inside your um, Gary's mod SDK or your directory. If you get an error that says um, it's missing a file that 
and may say a suggested issue is that the SDK isn't installed and you may already have the SDK installed. The way to do for this, the way to do this is to just uh, go into your Gary's Mod bin folder and root around. So when I got that error, it was saying that the studio model.exe wasn't there, which it is. So you just browse, uh, dig around in the bin file for a little bit and find the file that matches this. Or this could be for any of these. Now, once you've compiled it, everything should be fine. So you can close crowbar and all of the other folders. Then we're going to go back into Hammer, and we're going to, well, you're going to have to uh, restart Hammer for this. You're going to edit the world model, make sure all mods is checked off here, and you're going to search for whatever keyword you added. So I added tiny, um, and see, as you can see, it turned this train into this tiny little train. So you're going to set that, click apply and now the train is nice and tiny. Next, what you're going to do is uh, first line up the train. I'm not going to be very precise with this. Mm, make it straight. Put it right over the funk train entity. I'm going to turn this entity uh, into something invisible, an invisible brush. Uh, I would recommend you do the same. Hold on. I messed it up. And then click the model. And this first line that says parent, you're going to set that equal to whatever the train is named. Our train is named train, if you remember. So we're going to apply that. And we now have our train linked to our train. So I'm going to run the game really quick and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So now as you can see, we've got an actual train moving very slowly through the level, which is perfect. That's what we want. You can go to the skybox and see that it's moving perfectly across the ground. Excellent. Now I'm going to add, and I'll show you how to add a little flavor to the uh, train so that it feels more like a train. And it adds some stimulation to the... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the speed from 3 to something like 15. This will make the train go a little faster. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add damage on crush. This is just a little flavor, so if anything gets in the way of it, it'll kill that entity immediately, unless it has more than 1,000 health. Uh, move sound, move ping sound, start sound, and stop sound are the... Uh, things that we want to use most in this because this is what really makes a train a train. So as you can see, we are giving this sound resource directory, which is absolutely massive. It has every sound in TF2 and Half-Life, I'm pretty sure. So you can use this filter tab here as kind of a search bar. I'm going to look for train MO, train moving, train razor train, freight train. Uh, actually, this is the start sound, so I'm going to do train underscore horn. Train horn 01, you can preview it here. Yep, I know that's the one we want. So I'm going to select train horn 01. This is now the start sound. Next we're going to do the move sound. Train underscore MO for move. Freight train move. That's exactly what I want. Gonna set that equal. Move ping sound. Now this is a sound that'll play when you know the train gets faster. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because it's not necessary to the tutorial right now. And then we're gonna have a stop sound. So stop sound can be anything. I'm gonna do train train break. Which isn't really the perfect sound, but it'll show you that it works. Next, I'm going to change the volume because 10 is the loudest, which is kind of a lot. So I'm going to set it down to 6. And then this is pitch settings, health, you know, not really necessary right now. Uh, now we're going to run the map and show what's happened. So as you can see, you really got to be quick to catch it. Now we can see the train has a horn, all those sounds coming from the right. Um... 
the train is moving a lot quicker and you can actually hear it moving. Now the reason that the sound is coming from this side and not from this side where the train actually started is because I made the skybox over here and the sound is relative to the funk uh, tank train. Uh, you might see that <laughs> the train's gonna flip around because it um, actually goes um, from two to one. So the tutorial is essentially completed now. You know how to make a train and you know how to make models into actual trains. So before I end the video, if you are wondering how to make it loop or more do it more than once or how to add a delay, I am not currently able to tell you how to do that. Uh, you can make it loop indefinitely, but if you want to make it go, you know, one line, then stop, reset, and do another line, maybe a minute later, uh, I can't tell you how to do that yet. I am currently researching that, so maybe I will follow that up. But until then, I hope that you can find GCF Scape and Crowbar useful to you, because it's not really that hard to learn the tools. I'll leave the links in the description. I will make sure I can show you, or I'll leave the commands that I used in the .qc file in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, like the video and subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments how I did, what I can improve on, because this is my first time doing a tutorial in a while. And it's my first time doing a tutorial for something as complicated as a hammer engine. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you around.